Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to use a free tool that I made which lets you automatically update your games really easily. With the link in the description you can download these two files. There's an exe file which does all of the leg work, and a config file which we'll use to assign our download URLs and other preferences. To start, we're going to need to find somewhere to host our files online. I prefer Google Drive because it's free and easy to use. I'm going to open my Google Drive account and make a new folder. I'll just call it Game Updater. Now we're going to need the build files for our game. For an example here, I'm going to use my game Souls of the Grumps. When you build your game, you'll get a folder with these files in it. Just select all of them and send them to a compressed, zipped folder. Once it's finished, you can name it whatever you like. Then just drag it into the Google Drive folder we created. It might take a minute to upload. Let's create a new file called version.txt. Open it up and type 0.0.1. .0 then save it and we'll drag it into our Google Drive folder as well. We can delete the .txt and .zip file from our computer now, since they're both in the cloud. Now that both of our files are in Google Drive, we're going to generate some download links. Right click on your game zip, choose Get Link, and then switch the visibility from Restricted to Anyone with Link, so that anyone can download the file. Then copy the link. Normally Google Drive links will take you to a UI where you can browse through the folders, but that's not what we want. We want a link that automatically downloads the file. To do this, we're going to look up a Google Drive download link converter. I'll have a link in the description to the website I used. Let's paste the link in here, and then convert it. Copy the newly created download link, and open up your config.txt file. Paste the download link after download URL. Let's do the same thing for our version.txt file. Right click, get link, anyone with link, copy. Then head over to the download link generator. Paste it in and generate a new one. Copy the download link and open back up our config.txt file. We'll paste the download link after version URL. Now let's set up the other preferences. Set the application name to the name of your game. Set file to run to the name of your game's exe. Don't forget the .exe at the end. If you're hosting the raw version file somewhere, you can set download version file to false to read the file directly from the server. Because we're using Google Drive to host our files, we'll just leave it as true. By default, when an update is detected, the update program will ask the user if they want to update or not. If you set force update to true, it won't ask and will just download the update. This is useful if you're making a multiplayer game and want to keep all the clients on the same version. Now that our config file is fully filled out, the auto updater is complete. Go back to the RedLabs updateutility.exe file and run it. If you've done everything right, it'll detect that the application isn't downloaded and start downloading it from the server. Then it will extract it and run the .exe file we specified. If you made a mistake and typed something wrong, it should tell you the error. Alright, it works! Now let's try updating the game remotely. Say that I just updated my game and these files are from the new build. We'll select all of them and send them to a compressed, zipped folder. Copy the file path to this folder so that we can easily navigate to it in Google Drive. Now let's head into Google Drive and right click on our game zip. Then we'll choose manage versions and upload new version. Paste in the file path and choose our newly zipped folder. It's important that we add a new version instead of just uploading a new file and deleting the old one since the download URL will break. Now let's do the same thing for our version file. Create a new file, it doesn't matter where, called version.txt. Open it up and type in the new version, 0.0.2, .0 then save it and close the window. Alright, back in Google Drive, right click the version.txt file and choose manage versions, then upload new version. We'll choose the version.txt file we just created. And that's all it takes to update your game. Now if we run the Red Labs update utility.exe file, it will check the version URL and see if there's a new version. Since we set force update to false, it'll ask us if we want to update. If we choose yes, it'll delete the old game files and download the updated ones. When it's finished, it'll launch the game. If no new updates are found, and the game is already installed, it'll just run the game immediately. You can also rename this exe file to anything you want. I'll just rename it to the name of my game, Souls of the Grumps. When you're distributing the game to players, just send them these two files. They'll run the exe when they want to play. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you can make good use of this tool. If you want to access the source code, which will allow you to set a custom icon, customize the UI, and get rid of the external config.txt file, support me on Patreon. The lowest tier is only a dollar a month. Speaking of which, thank you to Cookies, XZippyZackX, Dottie, and Mike Hawk for supporting me on Patreon.